There are seven simple steps to creating your very own unique perfume or perfume product. First of all, visualize your objective. With intention, you can create whatever you dream. Step two, build the heart of the perfume. This is the basic structure of the perfume. Step three, decorate the heart with modifiers. This is like painting on the heart so it gives freshness, naturalness, modernity, spice, etc. This will give your perfume its uniqueness. Step four, harmonize the perfume with blenders. These materials will bring the heart and modifiers together without changing the essential character. Step five, finish your perfume by adding a third dimension of time and depth by adding fixatives. Step six, smell your perfume and check it against your objective. And last but not least, if you're happy with it, add it to a perfume base or the product base. The objective is the most creative part of your perfume. This is where you decide what type of perfume you want to make. The clearer your objective, the better the result. What you can visualize, you can create. Feel where the perfume affects you physically, link it to colors, sounds, music, texture, and emotion. Think about the person and the occasion this perfume is for. Intention is the most important ingredient you can add to your perfume. What feeling or image you want this perfume to communicate? Is it freshness, playfulness, bubbly? How feminine or masculine it is? Is it young or mature? Now we build the heart of the perfume, which is the basic structure of your perfume. Does the person you're making this perfume for want to present themselves as masculine or feminine? What do you mean? It's not so much if the person is a man or a woman, but how they want to be seen. Feminine perfumes will tend to use floral notes such as jasmine and rose, while the masculine perfumes will tend to be built around citrus, spice, wood, conifer, herbs, etc. Oh, I think I like feminine. Choose between one to three hard fluorescences that you want to form your heart from. Then make them up to about 40 drops total. Can you use more than three? Yes, that's fine, but try to use the minimum number of notes, otherwise your effect gets blurred or gray, like when you try to mix too many colors together when painting. I like the tree. Jasmine, rose, and mimosa. How many drop of each should I use? Which ones are the most important for you? Which ones match your vision and attention the most? I think Jasmine and Lo should be the same. But Mimosa a little bit less. Try 10 drops Jasmine and 10 drops Rose first. Now mix them together with the stirrer and then smell from the stick. I think a little bit more loss. Try to add five more drops. Remember to think of your objective. Yes, that about it. Okay, now we add mimosa. Try to start with five drops first. Yes, that nice. Now you have a total of 10 jasmine, plus 15 rose, plus five mimosa, which adds up to 30 drops total. I only have 30, but I need 40. Don't worry too much about it. Anywhere between about 20 to 60 is fine. It's okay to work with for the next step. We can make it up later.
step three, we decorate the heart with modifiers. This is like painting the color on the heart, so it gives freshness, naturalness, modern effect, and warmth, for example. The Ice Nips kit is arranged so that the fresher notes are along the top shelf, getting richer as you move down. Now, because this can change your perfume dramatically, use them carefully, drop by drop. However, there's a guide on the bottle for the number of drops you can use for men and women. A tip here is to use only one to three materials. Citrus will give the perfume its freshness. Green will add leafy character. Fruits add novelty. Herbs for naturalness. Spices will add warmth. And vanilla will add sweetness to your perfume. In step 4, we add blenders to harmonize the perfumes. These are softer materials that bring the heart and modifiers together without changing the essential character of what you have done so far. And since they are designed to smooth and harmonize, they are quite soft, so you tend to use more of them. About 25 drops total. One, two, or three materials is enough for this stage. The blenders are the same for men's and women's perfumes. Just pick one that best complement elements of the heart and modifiers that you have already used. Step 5, add fixatives to complete your perfume, giving it depth and a third dimension of time. Sometimes fixatives are thought of as materials with long-lasting orders. I suggest you think of them more as materials that complete the perfume, like the frame or fine details of a painting. Fixatives add the eye for infinity in eye snip. Try to choose between one and three materials which smells around the same theme as your heart. Use about 20 drops total. How do you like recreation? Wow, I love it! And it's so easy to do! Okay then, let's turn it into a perfume!
last but not least, step 7. Now we add our perfume to alcohol using only the purest ethanol to make a perfume. The 100 or so drops we have produced is about 2 cc, which is enough to make a quarter ounce of full strength perfume. For a non-alcoholic perfume, we can use our 2cc with 6cc or 300 drops of solvent fluorescence. If we want a more dilute elder toilet strength, then we can add 30cc of ethanol to our full strength perfume. To produce perfume products, we can scent the nice sniffs on perfume bases with it. For toiletries, our 100 drops or 2cc is enough to perfume a quarter liter or half pint of ice nip shampoo, conditioner, or shower gel base. For cosmetic bases, our 100 drops or 2cc is enough to perfume a half liter or one full pint of product base like ice nip lotion base. <laughs>